there's 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 some industry name for it, I'm sure, but um, <laughs> time-based authorization rules. Um, yeah, the idea is that you might need a piece of a of a, you might need someone to authenticate within the next within the last few minutes, right? Mm -hmm. um, a anybody who has used OAuth understands that this is built into the OAuth spec as well, right? But these mm -hmm. scopes are valid for this much time, yep. and you need to go back to the authorization server periodically to ask, hey, do I still have authority to do this, right? Um, and uh, when you're on Amazon's website, and I call it the Amazon feature because it's the first place I noticed it, like years and years ago when I was using, uh, I went to go change my password or something and it asked me for my password again. I was like, oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so now Spring Security has that support for you to be able to articulate that this particular rule uh, needs uh, one or both of the factors, however many of them that you need, to be done within a certain time period. And if not, then please ask for it again. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, if you need another one-time token, if you need their password again, whatever it is, um, you can, using this API, you can uh, you can specify it and create the rule accordingly. That just for this one endpoint or this set of endpoints or whatever, because you can use the ant matching just like you can in the rest of Spring Security.